Welcome to Console and PC Gaming and today we are looking at Verdun and this is a game we looked at a few years ago actually and um, we've decided to come back and have another look at it. It's a World War One based game, uh, squad based, multiplayer and uh, it was set during the uh, First World War uh, and it's been on Steam since 2015 I believe and um, what we did the other day, we had a quick uh, look at it again and we were quite impressed by the uh, extra additions to the graphics and, and the way the game plays. So we're going to have another look at it. And um, before we do go in, and let's go into the options and uh, make sure we get our settings right. So first of all, uh, let's get the music volume down a little bit so we can hear ourselves over the... Uh yeah, gunfire and things. Uh, voice chat, I'm going to turn that to zero. Hit mark on, score audio, typewriter audio, yep. So graphics, let's just go in and show you that we are using 2560 by 1440. And we're using a field of view of 90, which is um, apparently a good setting to use. Uh, and everything else is on ultra. And we are using a 2060 individual RTX card, as we usually do. We find that one of the most uh, uh, valuable cards on the market. You know, value for money cards, I, sh I should say. And... Um, the only difference as well is we've set our uh, mouse button 5 and 6 to crouch and prone. Now we've got a lot of tech mouse with a few extra buttons, so we thought we set that up as well. And uh, what is this? we um, be, hopefully be looking at Tannenberg soon, but for the moment, this is Verdun. It's the first multiplayer FPS set in a realistic First World War setting. So um, let's get into the games. We'll click on play, and we are going to do this. There's a couple of game options a deathmatch. There's a team deathmatch with when teams are locked in a battle of attrition, a team with the most kills wins, and the other one is rifle deathmatch. Then there's a squad defense, desperate survival of the trench line with your squad against waves of enemies. How long can you survive? And front lines, the objective of the squad is to capture all the enemy sectors. Victory is achieved either by taking all the sectors or by holding on to the majority when the time runs out. So you've got a maximum of 162 players in here at the moment. And this is more like sort of conquest, like you get in battlefield. So we're going to try that one. And uh, let's select the battle. So we are going to go, where should we go? There's quite a lot actually of battles. And you can also choose from, from this screen as well. So we're going to go for something like, uh, so let's go to Flanders and click on, oh, it's unbalanced. Okay, let's join you the team. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. Um, we are going into Flanders. And as you see there, it's defending the last corner of unoccupied Belgium. This huge uh, Belgian line was surrounded by the German forces on three sides. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So we'll give a bit of historical background. You see some historical pictures there as well. And, uh, of course, you've got the um, the, the sort of picture. You look at the graphics there. It looks like an old photo. So you're on the left, the guy with the binoculars there. You can see there's sort of two lines running down the, uh, the side of the screen. So this is uh, No Man's Land that we're going to spawn in, which is here. And this red part, I think, is what we've got to attack. So we're going to click on Spawn. And as you can see, the graphics are nice. Oh, no, I think I've gone as an officer, have I? Oh, no, I'm not really good as an officer. So um, let's see. Oh, see. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to be an officer. Let me just see if I can change that squad. I not. I want to be an officer. Uh, OK, bro. Um, switch. Can I switch roles? Resume. Okay. No, oh, I've still got a pistol. So, um, let's see what we can do. So, I'm going to use my glasses, pick up the Q-Man menu, and set the artillery. So, can we get some artillery? I haven't played as uh, this role before uh, on this new version, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, I was hoping to go in as a rifleman. And so, can I... How do you look for these binoculars as well? No, hang on, let's 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 quit. Oh yeah, because it's not a good um, example. So until I get used to using that particular role, I will uh, play that role. But for now, let's find another match. Front lines again, and uh, uh, that's the one we just went to, wasn't it? So let's go. To, let's go to Flanders and in, in, in another match. Click on that one. Select battle. Uh, join match. So you're down here. Join match. So. Defend the last line of unoccupied Belgium again. And a slightly different picture there, as you can see. Still the old sort of um, old-fashioned postcard picture. 
I want a postcard. I mean, it will photograph it, beg your pardon. That's a really good picture there in the bottom right hand corner. See the silhouettes? Okay, let's see now this time. Let's hope we're not um, going to go in as. Ah, oh, we're right. From there. So here we go. We've got to capture enemy sectors. And that's where we've got to attack. There's a blue icon in the middle of the screen. And I've just got shot again. By the way, it's not like Battlefield where you've got health meter and recharge. You get shot realistically and you die and that's it. So what we're going to do? Yeah, let's see, let's see if we can get somewhere without being shot straight away. So no wonder those guys are actually prone. Because some sniper is obviously on the prowl. So yeah, on the map below you see we need to capture that sector. The good thing about what they're doing now is you've got these red, sorry, these green circles over your squad members. So you know they're your squad. And um, I think before they didn't have them, it was very difficult to know who was who. So there's the graphics on uh, on this, this particular uniform. Very, very good. Here we are running in 1440p. And, uh, oh, there's someone there, is it? I can see someone. And uh, you really got to be precise. It's very difficult for new newbies. Because you really get shot straight away, you know, and, uh, oh, there you go, well, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, yes, um, okay, a uh, prime example, I had quite a lot of kills last night on a practice level, and tonight it uh, seems to have gone a bit uh, rusty, so I've got to wait now, I mean, no man's land, I've got to wait, uh, and uh, I can spawn on my, on my squad team uh, member here, so let's wait for him to come back. No, yeah, you can't. Okay, spawn squad. So we've got to defend now over there. So there's the defend icon. Did we get him? Oh, that was close. So you can see how, how you, you really got to make sure that you... Oh, hang on, is that some guy there? Oh, he's been shot. So it's really difficult to play first time. A bit like... Uh, need to check. Got him. So that's it. That's how, how, how fi fine you've got to get it. You've got to get it spot on. Oh! <laughs> At least we've got one kill. You've got to get it spot on because... Some of the players as well, there's, I think there's snipers in it too, and there's machine gunners. So we've got an ordinary rifle at the moment, so I haven't actually upgraded any of my stuff yet. So, um, I've got a basic rifle. Let's spawn on this guy again. I wonder if we get to the side of the map. All the language as well, you hear the language they speak in the Oh, oh God. does he get me then? I'm just trying to get to the side of the map. Oh no! Phew. you got artillery in this as well, you can call artillery strikes. I mean the detail's brilliant, it's 1440p on, on this card. Is, we're running at 72 frames a second. That dead horse there as well, his ribs showing. Come on. You really gotta be careful here. Yeah? I'm trying to get to the edge uh, edge of the uh, trenches. Let's see if I can keep low. There's a bit there. Can I get behind there? I don't know. Or something there. Whew. Let's reload in case. So when the time runs out, there's a timer, and the person who has made the most ground, I believe, wins. Ah, there's someone. 
very difficult to see as well, especially with no scope. You're very limited. Um, you can see flashes, of course. And like Battlefield 1, this is more like a, more of a simulator uh, game, which is a one shot, one kill. Because uh, in Battlefield, even though um, I, I love playing Battlefield, um, Battlefield 1 specifically, you um, sometimes you, you shoot someone in the back about six times and you run off and they turn on and kill you one shot. And uh, people say, yeah, oh, it's a headshot, it's a headshot. But in, in the, sometimes you do hit them in the head and they still don't die. Yet you die straight away. Hang on, what's that? Hang on, he's going there. I don't think there's much range in this rifle. So yeah, it's all about Battlefield. Oh, yeah, there's a guy there. Oh, he oh, we got in my way! <laughs> Damn. Yeah, uh, Battlefield is sometimes really frustrating. I really enjoy playing Battlefield 1. I prefer to Battlefield 5. But, um, like I said, um, there's some strange physics in that game. <laughs> nope, need to reach out. I can see a guy there. But I'm not going to be able to get him because he's... Uh, You've got grenades as well, of course. I've got one grenade, I believe. I haven't seen much action from this side. We've got. Oh, yeah, there's one there. There's one there. Is he? No, he's gone. I wonder if he's going to try and come through here. Got him. Did you see that tiny little speck up there? Look? I just, it's just, it's just really, gotta be really accurate. Oh, there's another guy there. I can't see him. And they do try to tend to come through the side. There's another guy there. And see him just by, by that fence. A couple of guys there. Oh no, what's happened? I thought it was outside the area then. Got him again. So we've got three. There's a guy with gunfire there. Oh, come on. Keep thinking about the reload. And he's going for it. He's seen a bit of a risk, isn't he? There's a turret in there. Uh, like you say it to me there. I have to defend. Now I can go for the attack. So I can go for the attack now, but we're going to get shot at if we don't be careful. So we're going along the side here, making sure we've got some cover. Get inside there, get behind this tank. Oh damn, there's some people there retreating. You see him there, just in front of where I'm pointing? they got the same ideas but they they're taking a big chance there's gas over there so just taking it easy just, oh oh so you see what I mean exactly what I mean the minute you get up someone's shooting at you and it's normally a play with a scope and this has got keen eyesight so oh damn that was a bit disappointing So let's go again. I'm gonna try and get to 130 meters away. So let's see if we get some cover here. Let's send my teammate. A lot of gas there, so it's difficult to see. So, if, if, can we can, let's crawl along here? Those guys are running. They're the team that we're on. It's so authentic this game. I mean, 
We've done a couple of war games recently. We've done it Dave Infamy, which is really good uh, and uh, it's much more faster paced. But again, that's quite a more of a realistic sort of um, war game on based on World War Two. This is this is actually um, World War One. You never know who's, who's, who's watching, tracking you. I saw him, I saw him. I know where he is. He's probably expecting me to get back up. I saw him, oh there's two there left. Let's get the grenade out. Let's check my grenade. Oh no! <sighs> so you just checking the grenade there and he got killed. <laughs> oh gee. Right, can we can I can I spawn on this guy? No, I can't. I thought I could, but I can't. Uh, in the sector tank graveyard. So obviously he's being killed, there's something else there. the water as well look at that sort of a nice effect on the water how was that guy standing up and not getting shot there's always some players who never seem to never seem to die do they no matter what this he's standing up in the middle of a field right oh no executed for desertion I was saying there's some people who stand up in the middle of a field with a pistol, like they, they do in these games, and they never seem to get hit, then you, you get up and you think, right, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it now, and then you get shot, and you think, oh, how the hell did nobody shoot that guy who's actually, who's actually just in full view of all the enemy, he seems to get away with it, <laughs> it's like, so let's, let's try a different tactic this time, let's try running for a bit, and then um, duck in. Okay, I saw that guy there. There's a couple of guys in that area there, I can see. Up oh, shot. Okay, so let's see if we can creep up here. Oh no, I got stuck. What's this boy here? It's in the paint. Oh, what's that? Oh no, I've got to defend these points now. I must have taken them. He must have taken them. He says defend now. Let's. See me. <laughs> Got a couple so far. 
we got him as well. Oh. Super nut. Whew. Got a couple of kills on the shot there and then some super nut on me. Okay, so that's that's alright. Let's go again. What the hell is all dark in here? Oh, where am I? Some sort of bunker? Someone's hitting that bunker. How do you get out of this bunker, actually? I, I, where's the way out? I'm stuck here. Is there a light? What? I'm stuck. Can't see the way out. Have we got a light? Holy shit. I don't want to kill myself here, but I might have to if I can't get out of this bunker. Oh, hang on. Do you know the way up, mate? I'm not sure what to get how to get out of here. Am I am I stuck? Hang on, is that guy? I'm a vinegar. Oh, is, it, is that not the way out? Oh my god. Is this the way out? Oh yeah, here we go. Phew. Just even capture a point at least. I don't even manage to capture a point, but I've shot a couple of uh, enemies. Seems to be where all the action is. Let's reload in case. We're moving in now. Explosions. Be careful, there's, it might be an air assault. The 
this guy. How does guy guy not get shot at like? Oh, aircraft. These guys just walk and they don't get shot, do they? What's that happening by there? I think we're winning. Oh my god. There's a woman up here, isn't it? Captain the sector now, guys. Let's, let's go in here. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. It's that super net guy again. He's got some extra, extra gadgets. So, he's obviously got a bit of an advantage there with whatever he's using. So, um, a bit of a shame, but uh, we'll push him back again. He got six kills, not bad. Not bad at all. Need to get some more points, though. Not on a good run, run of form at the moment. I don't know where that came from. Okay, come on, guys. So it's 4 1 2 S, I think. So I need to see if I can capture some stuff. Where are they coming from? Gas mask. I forgot to show you guys that. There's a gas mask. Ah, damn. Oh dear.
Well, we got one, he goes back. So we started okay, we've been a bit of a bad luck in the last couple of uh, goes. Oh, not again. Oh dear, dear. We're doing well in the kill death ratio, and I think we've lost a few lives at the moment, so um, let's uh, dig a bit deeper and see if we can get anything better than what we've done just in the last couple of times. I'm stuck by barbed wire. Oh, I thought we had him then, but we saw the little cross come up to see that you hit someone, and uh, oh yeah, I got an assist. So I must have injured him and not hit him totally head on. Ah, oh. damn. <laughs> he got killed as well. I was going to say, he's just standing there in the middle of the battlefield with all these shots out happening and he, he nobody shot him again. So let's try again. So it looks that... No, we did. We captured the enemy's HQ, so we won. So, that was a great game. You've got to concentrate, you've got to look around, and you've got to make sure, and everyone's saying, yeah, good game. You've got to make sure that, um, you've got to make sure that, uh, oh, best player, Mr. Tumble, and uh, what, uh, well, what's happened there? Most kills, Mr. Tumble. So, yeah, uh, oh, okay, console PC gaming is there somewhere. Uh, yes, eight kills, so that's not too bad. We have the second most kills in our group. Which is good, and uh, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Eight kills uh, on the, I think it's our third go since we played the last. It was not bad. Anyway, um, we're going to quit now, and uh, whoops, what's happening there? We're going to quit, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. So um, let's see. Uh, we're looking. I'm going to look at Tannenberg hopefully very shortly, which is the other. If you can see there on the right hand side, is the Eastern Front in World War One with 64 players fighting. So that's between the Russian Empire and Germany and their allies. So that's going to um, be something we're going to be hopefully looking at shortly. In the meantime, if you do like this video, don't forget to um, uh, leave a like and a comment below. Leave a comment below and, uh, and also mention what you'd like us to uh, review next. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So until next time, guys, goodbye. Welcome to Console and PC Gaming. And today we are looking at Verdun. And this is a game we looked at a few years ago, actually. And um, 